Alright, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fixing your DJI Phantom. This goes for advanced and professional only. Uh, we're going to be fixing the red lights on the bottom. So if you have the red lights on the bottom, what we're looking at is a couple things. We have uh, compass air. I have a lot of uh, electronics around here, so that's not really of concern. Um, that's going to be okay when we actually go out outside. But here's what's the pro here's the main problem right here. We got aircraft requires upgrade and battery requires upgrade. I have three batteries, so I'm going to have to update all the three batteries, and we're also going to have to update the firmware on the actual Phantom. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go to DJI.com, and we're going to go to the Phantom Three and you want to click support. So support's going to bring you down here at the bottom and it's going to give you your firmware which is right here. Go ahead and click da uh, zip. This is a compressed folder. It's going to have the file in it. Also in the right window over here I have my SD card fully formatted. We have nothing on the SD card at all. So what we're going to do next is open the zip file which I have right here. I'm using WinRAR. It's uh, free. It expires every. It expires in 14 days, but you can still use it after. Okay, so boom, it's on there. It's a bin file, and we're going to firmware 1.0.6 or 1.06, and that looks like that was released last year, which was uh, December 22nd. So, once we have that. Next thing is we're gonna put the SD card in the in the um, in the drone, and uh, that'll be the next step. Update the firmware. All right, for this next step, you do not need to have the controller on, so we can go ahead and shut that off. The controller is off. Um, we have our micro SD right here. Oops. And we're just gonna put it in. All right. Next thing, start the drone up. And if you're wondering what this is, this is my registration ID. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Where's our status light? Right here. And if you hear that, that noise means that it's reading the firmware and it's updating the firmware. And there it goes. You can hear it. So uh, we're going to wait for this to finish. I've had firmware uh, updates finish within five minutes, you know, I've had them finish within 30, it all depends on, uh, you know, how far back you are on the firmware and how how much are you upgrading or if you're just doing a, uh, you know, just the next upgrade, so we'll let this go ahead and finish and then uh, we'll come back and we'll check to see and make sure everything's okay. Okay, so to make sure that this is gone correctly, which we're, we're good now, is if you see the little light that's on here, it's green now. It was flashing red, green, red, green. It's also making a different sound. Um, I got, I went ahead and grabbed the two batteries that need to be updated. The one inside of here is okay, so what we're going to do now is power this down. And this is going to be to update your other batteries. So let's go ahead and flip this around. Pop out the updated battery. That one's okay. We're going to put this one in and just start up the drone. That's it. It's going to start up. It's going to see that the firmware on the battery is older and it's going to update it. It's going to be the exact same process you just saw. So do that for all your batteries. And then uh, after that, we'll come through and we'll check on our uh, DJI app if uh, we're successful. All right, this battery's done. Uh, just FYI, the first update, which was the aircraft and the battery, was about, I'd say, five minutes on mine. And then the actual battery updates alone, after you pop in a uh, older battery and get it updated, you're looking at about, um, that was like two minutes, so not that bad. So we're going to go ahead and do the final battery, and then we'll check on uh, through the DJI app and make sure that we're all updated and everything's good to go. All right, so the final battery is done. What you're going to do is you're going to power off and you're going to take the SD card out, the micro. 
Um, what you can do now if you want to check, if you pop this in your computer, there will be a text file and it will say successful or failed. So you can do that to check or you can just start this up like I'm going to do now. Also start up my controller and my iPad. Open up the DJI app and we'll see what happens next. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at our status. And right now we still have the compass error. That's because my computer's right here. But that's it. Our firmware is up to date. All our batteries are good to go. And uh, that's it. Alright, so I went ahead and started it up. I checked on my, uh, through my app. Just click this, uh, safe to fly. Normal, latest firmware, our setting is showing right there. So we have our latest firmware, and let's, uh, we have our red light disabled, and uh, just gonna enable the motor. <laughs> So uh, that's it, it's very easy to update the firmware and uh, clear out all the error codes. So uh, happy flying.